New at five, a former youth program volunteer at a mosque who was accused of drugging and molesting boys is now in state prison. 10 Investigates' Jenna Bourne broke the news of this plea deal last month. And so, Jenna, this man is no longer in Pinellas County. And this is Ehab Gonaim's mugshot from when he turned himself into the Pinellas County Jail on February 8th. Today, seven weeks later, he's officially been booked into state prison. We're still working to confirm which prison he's been transferred to. Gonim entered guilty pleas on all four charges, three counts of unlawful sexual activity with a minor and one count of lewd and lascivious molestation. You're looking at body camera video from his arrest in August 2021. Gonim agreed to serve eight years in prison, followed by two years of probation. He will also have to register as a sex offender. In early 2021, boys told police Gonaim sexually abused them during sleepovers at his house in Pinellas Park and on overnight trips out of town for events like Islamic youth conventions. Police records show those boys reported Gonaim would give them pills, get into bed with them, and touch them inappropriately while he thought they were asleep. In November, Gonaim's nephew, Noor El Sayed, asked to deliver this message for his uncle straight to the camera. I just want to say that, you know, at the end of the day, uh, whatever happens in the dark does come to light. You know what you did is wrong. You know what you did to these young men is just despicable and disgraceful. And for your soul, I just hope one day you're able to come clean to yourself. In May, 10 Investigates uncovered that in 2017 and again in 2020, a former employee came to the Islamic Society of the Tampa Bay Area leadership with reports accusing Gonaim of inappropriate contact with kids in New Jersey. The mosque's administrator told police he wasn't able to prove the accusations were true, so he allowed Gonaim to keep volunteering with the youth program. In studio, Jenna Bourne, 10 Investigates.